You are about to learn the simplest, most delicious tuna recipe, and it literally takes five minutes. This is the easiest way to cook something with no time and get away with still blowing away your people. We're gonna start with some garlic and butter. Crush the garlic into a saucepan with your butter and let's put it on low on the stove. We're gonna use this later to sort of finish the tuna with. I like to use wild caught ahi tuna. It's actually usually about $5.99 at your local Aldi. It's, you can get about three steaks, which is easily enough for about four people. Links down below. They usually come frozen and you can untaw them in about 10, maybe 15 minutes. After drying them off, we're gonna hit our steak with some coarse black pepper and some fine sea salt. Make sure you mop anything on the plate up with the sides of the steak. That's gonna be great to season it all around. We have our perfect coating and now we're gonna sort of try to get a sauce ready that we're gonna eat our tuna with. Our butter is ready to go. It's all garlicky and uh, roasted and it's gonna be perfect to finish that tuna steak with. I like to do one tablespoon of sesame oil and then maybe about one tablespoon of soy sauce. We're gonna mix these together and try to sort of emulsify them a little. They won't mix up too much, but it's all right. What we'll get is just a couple layers of flavor in there. All right, we're gonna cook these on the highest setting that we can get on the gas side of our Oklahoma Joe grill. This will give us a good sear for each side, releasing all the flavor from the peppers, as well as giving us some great sear marks that'll make it look like this fish came out of a restaurant. We're gonna do about 10 seconds on one side and then maybe rotate it about 45 degrees so we can get those great sear marks. We also wanna make sure that we get the sides a couple seconds of heat for color and then maybe flip it over to the other side. Once we flip it over, we can start hitting it with our garlic butter. This will sort of like flare up and then it'll also give it that great roast garlic flavor. All right, we're ready to slice. So we wanna look for the grain of the fish. It's sort of like those stripes of muscle and we wanna cut against that because what we want is we want this fish falling apart and sort of melting. As you can see, there's almost like a circle that's the grain and we're gonna cut against it so that we get these great pieces of tuna. I'm going for a slightly thicker slice. Most people like a really thin slice, which is great. I mean, look at that color, it's beautiful. It's, you can even see the light passing through it and just we have that perfect pepper crust. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plate this up and then we're gonna season it. So I, I think you can't go wrong with sesame oil and soy sauce. You can put a ton of it on and this is where sort of the fish gets marinated. All right, we're ready to finish up. We're gonna hit it with some green onions and I just before this, I hit it with some sea salt, but this is ready to go. Enjoy guys. Oh, and don't forget the wasabi. I love wasabi. <laughs> 